This is an X8R video demonstrating how to replace the glide ring and piston seal on this compressor. This compressor fits the Land Rover Discovery 3, Range Rover Sport and late models Range Rover L322. It's quite a common issue that the piston seal and glide ring wears down reducing output. Another common issue is uh, the filters in here becoming full and again affecting performance. We always recommend to replace both the piston seal, the glide ring and the filters to maximise output. We'll now demonstrate how to remove the piston ring and the glide seal and how to replace that. First off you need to take a 8mm socket and remove the top four bolts. It's always good to remember which order these go in to refit in the part which they screw into down here is quite soft and it's quite easy to damage so it's always good to tighten up slowly in increments and to put the bolts back in the right position. Once you've undone these you should be able to tilt the head up. There's a screw down the back here which might need loosening just to allow it to rise up. You can see the heat sensor here. Um, just try not to put too much pressure on that. You can just lift it clear like this and take this pipe off. Just remember that for later. Um, there's a gasket inside here which can sometimes fall out, sometimes it will stay in the head. It should be positioned like so. So when you're refitting the head just remember to put it back as you found it. In here you'll find a piston ring, you can just lift the sleeve off. And there you'll find the piston ring and the glide ring. Um, this is one of our improved kits, it's a demo unit. Uh, we normally be in worse condition. Right, to remove this we need to first remove this front panel which is just a crosshead screwdriver. Again, it's good to remember the order of these. Face plate off. We can now remove the piston. First of all, we install our tool, just over the piston, push the piston down, it sits nicely into our tool. This, this stops the piston moving up and down. Uh, then take a T25 Torx, just loosen off the bolt. As soon as that's done, Let's take the tool out again. Continue to remove the bolt. Once removed, let's take the piston wheel down and out like this. You might need to take the glide ring off. Sometimes you wiggle it out, sometimes you can't. There we go, the piston is removed. We can now replace the seal and the glide ring. To remove the seal, Use our tool to clamp the piston into a vise. This just protects the piston from any damage. Um, we don't need to over tighten this. It's just to support it whilst we're cutting away the old seal. Take a, a knife and carefully your fingers and cut down and remove the old seal. We cut this in a few places. Then use a small screwdriver just to lever away the old seal. This one's in pretty good condition. It's one of our aftermarket ones. Um, it normally be easier to remove a worn ring. We just prise away at the seal. Like so. There we go, it's coming away nicely. There we go, that's most of it removed. Um, we then take a small screwdriver. In fact, we might just cut away a little bit more of the seal. If we cut away at the front of the seal, at the back of the seal, so it'll just leave us enough space to fit the screwdriver in. We can then prise in these gaps to slowly lift this ring. Um, slowly increase the size of the screwdriver. Um, just fix this gap a bit. 
bit larger and allow this ring to pop off. See there, just do it gently. You don't want to damage the ring too much. There we go, and it's off. Um, you'll probably want this being off a few times so it's quite damaged, but once it's off, you'll be able to smooth off this surface and any burrs left by the removal process. Um, all the rings come off nicely here, but if it hasn't, just remove these and again, remove any burrs that might damage the, the new seal. Um, we can get no, now go ahead and fit the new seal. Put this over the top, like so. Take the ring. It's good to put a bit of Loctite on this, just around this inside surface, um, just to lock it on. Um, just slide that on top, just gently push it down, like so. And then if you get a socket with a similar circumference to the to the ring just to press this down. I'm using a 17 millimeter socket. Okay, just put that on there. Just tighten it quite a little. And we can just tap this ring back into position. Don't need to put too much pressure on this. Then remove the piston. Just check that the, the ring isn't rotating. This will indicate that it's on there okay. We can then go about refitting this to the compressor. Firstly, we'll reattach the glide ring to the piston, like so. Okay, um, is that a good idea to just test it? Test the piston in the bore to make sure that the ring's on properly and the glide ring's on properly. If you just insert at an angle, you can then push in and out of the bore. You'll feel that's a good fit. You can now reattach the piston. Again, it can be a good idea to put a bit of lock tie just on this bolt. We again use our tool to allow us to tighten the piston. Here we go, let's tighten it up. Move the tool again. We can then install the liner. Again, if we do this at a little bit of angle, it just makes it that bit easier. There we go, and then we can just test again that the piston's moving up and down nicely. Now replace the face plate. Um, it's a good idea to remove the old sealant on here and on the face plate. Um, we can then use some new silicon, instant gasket, rubber, silicon, rubber sealant will be fine just around here. We don't want to put too much on because we don't want it to spill into this area or to affect the piston operation. So once that is done, Get this part back on. Again, you can add a bit of lock tights to these bolts if you wish. Now checking that the uh, gasket is in place at the top. 
lower the head back down. There we go. You then insert the bolts again. As I said before, it's good to remember the order of these. Tighten these up in increments. Do these up nice and tightly. Remember, don't over tighten. Uh, this part down here is extremely soft, so we don't want to damage that part. Once that is done, fit this part back over the temperature sensor. It may or may not have fallen off, but probably will. Refit this pipe. Now, at this point, it's a good idea to test the compressor just on the bench to make sure all's working properly and the install has gone well. To do this, red wire, black wire, red positive terminal battery, black negative terminal battery, and just run the compressor. Um, where the air is outputted, if you just put your thumb over that, you shouldn't be able to stop the air coming out. Again, where the air is sucked in, put your thumb over that, you shouldn't be able to stop it being sucked in. If you can, that would indicate a problem with install. Um, if you can't, then the output is good. Um, that completes the install of the piston ring and the glide ring. We'd always recommend replacing the filters in this unit also. We have another video showing how to do that. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any inquiries, call us on 01843 446643 or tech at x8r.co.uk. Thank you.